hi everyone and welcome back so in this video uh, we have already decided the architecture and in this video we are going to understand how we are going to connect to the multiple services through the proxy gateway so this is going to uh, be just a simple service this is the proxy service which is going to forward the request to the target service like we have a for the udemy we have a course manager category manager order manager and the payment service similarly for the enb we have a listing service uh, booking service payment service and some kind of uh, notification service and all so we are going to fit uh, this services like this api v1 course manager api v1 category manager api v1 payment manager api v1 uh, api v1 right and then this proxy which is nothing but an sga service is going to redirect uh, your request to the target service based on the path so course manager is the path right so it will take your request to the course manager and here we are going to use the next yes proxy middleware that will there we are going to define the rule okay when the request is coming for the proxy middleware uh, like uh, when the request is coming for the course manager take this uh, request forward this request to the course manager service running on a different port okay so i we have created this proxy manager service and then we can also spin up some of the services if you want nest new category manager proxy manager all these simple simple services right so you can see we need to have a different services for the udemy to work uh, we just, i was just checking what all services we need uh, we need category manager course manager and then uh, user preference manager all these different uh, nest js services we need and this is our overall architecture which we have decided that uh, from the next js uh, apis uh, we are going to call these uh, external services because we already have access token which is there in the next talk session so we are going to pass that as an authorization header and before entering to these services right we already have auth0 roles we have user id so based on lots of all these things we can validate okay user should be able to should allow should be allowed to access these services or not based on the authorization token based on the role and based on the user okay like we have a admin creator guest so there are some apis which are all about creating courses and all should not be allowed to the, the guest user okay so we have this proxy manager that will be using this uh, uh, middleware so we can also create some services meanwhile and then we will go to the proxy manager service that is going to be using this uh, auth middleware i mean you can also have auth middleware on the proxy auth middleware is at a gateway like authorization like api gateway on, in, on aws that can also validate your authorization header if uh, that contains the valid token all those validations can be done against auth0 so i will talk to auth0 okay is this token granted by you if yes i will allow this request if no if your token is expired i will uh, i will not allow you to access okay all these things we can do at the proxy layer proxy layer before even talking to the target service or then distribute or otherwise distribute this uh, validating the auth authorization header logic in each and every service so this is how we are going to do this thing and uh, once you validate through the auth middleware on the proxy we will get the data and that data we can pass to the target service so in that part, this particular case we are not allowing any random user to access the target service directly if we need then we need to restrict that user can access this target service through the proxy only proxy gateway and proxy gateway is the place where we have added all the checks about the validating the token validating the rules and all those things so that will be a centralized logic at the proxy gateway so here uh, we have all these we can create these middleware create manager uh, middleware uh, course manager middleware these are like nothing but a proxy middleware we are creating and we are going to register all these proxy middleware in the module.ts so if i just show you so this is a course manager.proxy.ts this is the user preference manager for each and every service we need to have 
these middlewares and what this middleware contains uh, it will implement a simple nest middleware and it is like it will call the create proxy middleware that we are going to import and inside a create proxy middleware we are going to provide a couple of options so first of all let's add that module so here uh, we are going to go to the proxy and HTTP proxy middleware this is something this is what we need to add and here there are a couple of options we are going to pass here is like okay path rewrite okay what's what is the the source and what should be the target the rewrite url i will just check uh, what we are doing so here we need to use use because use is a method we need to define as we are implementing nest middleware and here this is a target and this is a path rewrite so whenever the request is coming for this this is our target which we are going to do and this is the path mapping and whenever the request is coming to the proxy gateway with the api v1 category manager i will forward this request to the http local host 3002 api v1 okay so this is how we can just uh, define the path mapping we can create a multiple proxy middleware category manager middleware course manager middleware and then register all these middleware for a particular path in your uh, module.ts so this is a proxy request and i can just log if you want so this is why where we are creating these uh, multiple proxy middleware this is something we need for the airbnb or a udemy cloud you just need to have a proxy service proxy manager or proxy gateway there we need to create all these middlewares which you can register these middlewares at the module.ts okay for this particular path i'm using this so this is my app module and here i'm doing consumer.apply for this particular path so consumer.apply this is my first proxy middleware for this particular path like category manager and this is method.all method request method dot all okay similarly consumer dot apply uh, pass your another proxy middleware for these particular routes so this is what we can do we can write all these proxy middlewares okay and uh, we will see that these are the two different paths and that is giving us everything okay so we have category manager course manager manager and user preference manager okay so we have registered everything in, in the app module.ts so we should be ready and now whenever you are starting this proxy service it will just create this path based routing and we should be able to hit our target service we can add a global prefix api v1 and that's all so let's see you in the next video there we are going to integrate with these nest js apis